Hey guys, so about a month or two, I got a. Let me get my light in here. A Mitsubishi HSU20 VCR. So about two years ago, I had the same the same exact model, but I donated this one, and um, so I in the video quality was in the view, no not the video quality um when I reviewed it, I had a crappy I had crappy lighting then, so now I have deleted that original review and I'm gonna be, and this is basically a re-review. So, this this would be better. So here's the inside. You can see everything. You see the, it's all belt driven. And there's a separate, there's a separate pulley and gear for only for the carriage. And I had and I had to do. And I had to do a few things to this to get it back up and working. So when I went to Savers, it ate the tapes. So I can imagine what would what would that be? And it was actually and it was a belt problem, as I suspected. And it was it actually was all turned to goo. So it was like a pretty um messy job. And I had to clean all that out. And I replaced it with a regular belt. And Everything works fine now, but when I, but when I, t and now after, when I we fast forwarded it to more winding it, it didn't even turn much, so I had to replace the tire, right there, there's actually two, there's actually a gear and a tire, tire, the gears for play, and the tires for rewinding and fast forwarding, so I replaced that, and I'm just going to show you the, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you the belt seat, it's all it's all fine now. I replaced it. And I cleaned all that crap off it off of it. So and Mr. Miniscope actually has the same exact model too, but um except he's not he doesn't find this mechanism interesting, but I do. And I'll show you why later. So it's basically the bomb set is pretty interesting on this one. And, um, this is actually a forehead mono unit. It's not hi-fi stereo, or even stereo, it's just forehead mono. And, um, these VCRs are pretty nicely built. I don't see any flaws on this. You see, they, these are actually... The original belts did not need to be changed, but I changed them just to be sh just in case, and they're much tighter, nice and tight. So everything's been replaced except for the uh, capstan. Hmm. Don't know if I should replace it. Um. Maybe later I sh I should. So, yeah. So what I'm now going to do. So I think that's all, um, I think I showed you everything hmm, on the top side, hmm. oh there's a uh, tape stabilizer roller, on older VCRs they, most of them had those, but on the newer ones they got rid of the tape stabilizer so they could, so it would be cheaper for them to manufacture, I mean, so I know, but some newer VCRs do have that, and that's pretty impressive. And there's a, still dust on the circuit board that I cannot get out. Oh, didn't I mention I got a new tool for that? I got, I got my, I got an air dusting can. But it won't like, I mean it does work, but it has plenty of solution in there. But it won't um, get all like the bad dust out. Like, let me show you.
think I have to like use maybe even my, my I have to use my finger for that one. But it's plugged in right now, so I don't want to do that right now. So it can like at least get the huge amount of dust particles out of like the power supplies and all that, which I've done. And um, I have another can laying around somewhere. It's right. It's right over there. See if my camera can zoom that close to it. There it is. There's my other can. I bought two cans on eBay for a very cheap price. Capstone has been cleaned. Well, most of it. And, um... That's basically it. I don't think there's any power supply problems or any electrical problems on this. So, what? Now I'm going to insert a cassette. Oh, and by the way, the display is still is very bright. There's no signs of wear on the display. Oh, also, there's another door here that shows us more functions. There's even a sharp or soft picture setting. And still, just knob is missing, but I think it's just for the pause anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So it has a few, a good amount of buttons on it. What I wish, the, I wish the motor was held by screws instead, because look at this. I mean, it will not fly out when it moves, but. Feel, it just feels a little bit um loose, but I think but I think it's clamped down hard enough so it will not be able to like fly off while it's turning. So let's insert a cassette and uh and start the review for now. So the video had turned off because it didn't go into play mode. There's actually a tab in this cassette. I didn't record anything on it yet. So um, and on this one, the loading motor mechanism is pretty quiet. On this miniscopes, it's actually pretty noisy. What I think you should do with it, I mean, I think you should um put some at least a, a like at least a drop of oil a drop of oil in the mo in the loading motor bearing. I got oil too, so that's another tool I got like a couple weeks ago. I think it was like two weeks ago. Let me show you. Yep, here's my 3-in-1 oil. I use it for like the motor bearings. I mean, that kind of oil will work too. I mean, I don't have the electric motor oil, but it's but I've been told by a professional person who works who worked at the oil zone. That's where I got it from. He said it will work with the with electric motors, so. I would, so I suggest you put like a drop of 3-in-1 oil in the molder bearing. So I think now that's, now let's stop talking about that and let's just press play. The tape is turning. Oh, let me just move the light a little bit so I can show, see if you see the tape. You see? It's playing fine. Here. All right. You might think that the tape is actually crunching up, but it's not. No, I don't think it is. No, it's not. So, forward search. Oh, it's double speed. It can go. It can go. It can forward search a little bit faster. Okay, that part of the mechanism is pretty noisy. Reverse search. Stop. It does not unload the tape unless if I press fast forward or rewind. So I'm going to press fast forward. Um, just um, get the light a little bit closer so you can see the loading mechanism. Turn.
Well, of course, it's an old VCR. It's not gonna fast forward very fast or rewind very fast. Oh, I think I found the manufacturing date. October of 1988. So this VCR is almost 30 years old. In October, um, the 27th, near Halloween time, it's, it will be 30. It's currently 29 right now. Very quiet fast forward. Must be because it uses the idle tire for it. Wind. The wind works too. No issues at all. Since I've replaced the tire. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let the auto stop. It slows down a little bit to the beginning. I don't know why. It, oh. Yeah, sometimes it does, it does that. That's weird. Hold on. Eject. There's something wrong with my cassette or something? No, it's not dirty or anything. Why is it doing that? The wine. That's weird. Maybe if I press play, it might do something. Oh, it plays finally. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. That's not good. Look what just happened. Tape just spilled in there. I don't know what happened. Let me just um, eject the cassette. See what happens. I'm gonna expect it. It's gonna eat the tape. I'm not letting it eat my cassette. Not this time, buddy. Eject again. Let's see why. Oh. Oh, I see. It is dirty. So I think I might have to clean the clean the pinch roller or replace the pinch roller after this review. So uh, it never did that before when I did when I played my cassette. So let's see here. Whenever the tape gets dirty like this, I would normally just discard it. And this tape is not in good condition anyway. Well, anyway, I'll just put my head cleaning tape in. I mean, it does rewind fast forward, okay? So, well, that's going to be the top side, but now let's take a look at the bottom side. Alright, so here's the bottom side. It's pretty interesting, and I like the bottom side of these mechanisms. I've actually, we, we uh, hold on, we moved the, most of the black old grease and replaced it with white lithium grease, because I heard on these VCRs, the grease dries out very easily, very it, you know, not very easily. The grease dries out over the years and then it would have like a little bit of a hard time operating when it comes to certain features. So, I put some white lithium grease in the cam gear there and it operates smoothly. Might want to put a little more in after this, so, uh, maybe not now. Put some more white lithium, I put some grease on the gears right here. That's what I like about this. Look at the gear assembly. Very interesting. And the belt was pretty easy to get at. Um, I just had to remove this piece and this piece and this piece. So now let's insert a tape. Well, just in case, since it did, since it almost ate my tape, I'm gonna put a cassette with no tape just to be sure. Just, do, just for safety, just for, because I don't want to ruin my tapes. I'll press play. The tire doesn't turn, spin along with the uh, gear when it goes in play. See that the belt is perfect it's not wobbling or anything I 
I don't know what what causes foes such to be a little bit noisy. Do I have to like do I have to oil something? I'm not really sure if if you know if if I have to oil or grease something in the eyelids, please let me know what I need to grease or put oil on. So, cause I don't want to accidentally break anything. Let's press stop and rewind. Stop and fast forward, cause when I rewind it, it will just instantly go into stop, cause there's no tape in there. Well, the gear turns along with the other tire, but the gear does not um does not lean against the spindle when it fast forwards. See, watch how I was going to put rewind. See, it automatically goes into stop mode. Because there's no tape in there. Let's see the cam assembly. There's the mode switch right there, which is very hard to clean, so I didn't do anything with it. Stop and rewind. So we'll just go in the stop position. Let's take a look at the sliding mechanism here. Oh, we got... You can't forget to show these, this gear assembly too. Very nice. That's the wrong button. Very nice. So now I'm going to show you the picture quality on the TV, so I'll put my camera down for now and I'll be right back. Alright, now I hooked this up to my TV and this, it does not have on-screen display. And while I was, while my camera was off, I decided to replace the pinch roller. So here's the old pinch roller. And what I hate about old pinch rollers and when they get worn out, some of the pl some of the uh, substance gets on your hands. And when you smell your hands, sometimes you, it'll smell like fish for some reason. Sometimes, the old, when old pinch holes wear out, they smell like fish. Like, a little bit. Not like a whole lot, but a little bit. So now, what I'm going to do is put my color bars tape in. And show you how good the picture is. It'll play automatically because there's no tab in there. And it has digital tracking too, so that's a good thing. Oh yeah, I forgot I had to set the input on the slider. On the switcher. Mmm, picture could be better. I mean, it is a, v it is a VHS machine, so... It's, it's on, maybe it's just because... Oh, I see why. I think it's because I put it on too sharp, so... If I put it in the middle... it's not going to be like as grainy alright so let's put a regular tape in with content on it and I also gave the unit you know, a little cleaning too I'm just put this tape in I'm gonna fast forward a little bit I'm gonna fast forward a little bit. It's 
just one of those um freak out videos I watch on YouTube. You know Violet First uh, with, with the with that kid William who freaks out over Xbox and all this. <laughs> That's what I'm watching. That's what's on this cassette. <laughs> See when I put it on sharp. Yeah, I would put it on sharp if I um if I'm watching like a movie or something, but not with the color buds tape, I guess. So I'm gonna keep it on sharp. I think it's. I mean, I like. So yes, um, this VCR does work. It does have a good picture, but not good. But the sound could be better. Another one to tape to the beginning. Then I will close out this video. Eject. Power off. No tape eating problems. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you want to see more videos like this, um, please press the like button, comment if you like. And subscribe to my channel if you're new, and press the bell icon as well. So, um, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Be kind, rewind.